Hi guys, Nika Banana here. I hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. Yes, I know it's only Tuesday, but it's basically we're basically halfway there, so we can do this. This video is especially made for those people, those a lot of girls who follow me on Instagram and have been asking me, what do I think of Caroline Dreisler? Dreisler? I don't know. I, I really don't know too much personal things about her, but I do follow her on Instagram. I've followed her for maybe a couple of weeks because people have been asking. And first of all, um, I have to say that I've always been interested in this because when I went vegan and dropped a few pounds, people were very quick to say, you need to eat more meat. You look like Skeletor. You don't look good. You need to gain weight. You're too thin. You're too skinny. Your ribs are protruding. And I'm at 115 pounds uh, by five. So that's pretty normal. I can get down to 108, I believe it is, um, within my height and still be within a healthy BMI. But I'm not 108. I'm 115 to one one or to one twenty sometimes. So depending on time of the month and salt and fluctuations in the body of water, one hundred fifteen pounds, and I get a lot of hate comments. A lot of hate comments, and these body shaming comments are mostly from females. Surprisingly, some men as well, but surprisingly, mostly are from females. And I think even though I'm within a healthy BMI, and even though I'm within I just look healthy, I believe, and even though I have so much more energy than really anybody that I've ever met without caffeine, and I feel great, but even then, people are like, you're anorexic. We know it. We know you're anorexic, and I have to be the first one to say I do apologize to Caroline because... Um, when I when people were telling me about her, I went and checked her Instagram, and I'm like... I saw a couple of pictures. I didn't even scroll through the whole thing. I saw a couple of pictures. I'm like, she looks too thin. And now that I went back and looked at all of her pictures and watched some of her YouTube videos, she is not that thin. She's thin. She's slim, but she's not anorexic. Like, I don't think she's anorexic because I, you guys know that I've worked in hospitals. I've worked in clinics. I've worked with females and males with a lot of eating disorders, including BDD, body dysmorphia disorder, anorexia, bulimia, nervosa, all these eating disorders. And I don't see any, I don't see any of that in Caroline. And like I said, when I first saw her, I was like, eee, she looks a little too thin. Maybe she could gain some LBs. But I think some of the pictures she just took at a funny angle, which is what we use in photography. I mean, I should know better, but even I was a little bit like, because when I've done photo shoots in the past, they do use different lighting, different angles to make me look taller, to make me look leaner, leaner slimmer, whatever. However they want, they can actually make me even look thicker if they want to, heavier if they want to, which they have done in some cases, depending on the who I'm modeling for. My point is that Caroline is not too skinny. First of all, people are quick to say that she's anorexic, but I think nobody can actually know that she's anorexic unless we take her height and weight and put her in that BMI chart. And even then, there are some people who are on the lower end of the BMI chart, but as long as they exude that health, they're okay, really. Um, I personally believe that she is in the low end of the BMI chart, not anorexic, but she's on the low end of the, she's within her healthy um, weight range, but just on the lower end. So she's on the slimmer side. But once I started watching her videos and realized how much energy she has and how heavy her workouts are, she does a lot of boxing. She does a lot of ab exercises. They're awesome workouts. I actually did one the other day and it kicked my butt. It was an ab workout she had. It's like, I think 15, 20 minutes long, the video, and it kicked my butt because I have done cycling, I have done, um, I'm a cyclist and I'm a runner and I do a bunch of sports, but I never really work abs, which is kind of sad, but I did her ab workout, I was sore forever, and it's a really good workout. But the fact that she has the energy to do these heavy workouts means that she's fueling herself properly. So please stop harassing the poor girl I feel really bad because like I said I've been through it myself I've gotten so many texts and message or not text um emails and messages on Instagram people tell me you're freaking anorexic you need to gain like 50 pounds and I think a lot of that mentality comes because our society is pushing this trend where women have to be heavy or heavier than they used to so in the 50s it was normal 
for women to also want to gain weight. If you were on the slim side, they had all these ads that please gain weight so you're ready for the beach. And then that trend subsided and they wanted to make females really, really thin, sometimes unhealthy um, thin. And now that trend is coming back to want females to look heavier. So it's the whole big booty um, trend, really thick thighs, hashtag save lives trend. And personally for me, I don't have that body type. I'm skinny usually, I've usually been really thin. And even if I ate like 4,000 calories a day, I wouldn't have that body type because my body type is really athletic, it's really slim, it's really um, small for the most part. I have a smaller bone structure, so even if I wanted to be like these Instagram models, which a lot of the times are photoshopped, which a lot of the times these girls have butt implants, have boob implants, or push-up bra, so they're not really showing them their true bodies anyway. But when you are telling somebody like Caroline Dreisler, Dreisler, sorry, I don't know how to say your name, Caroline, um, when you're telling people like Caroline and I that we're not good enough, that we need to gain weight, that we look skinny, that we look anorexic, and then you put us out there in any sport, we will probably kick your butt because we have the energy to perform, we have the energy to train, we have the energy to just do whatever the hell we want because the vegan lifestyle does that for you. And what I've noticed is that she eats fairly low fat. She doesn't do zero fat, which I don't do zero fat either. I like my avocados. Sometimes I'll do nuts. I'm not really a nut person. I'll do nut milk. I'll do almond milk usually every day in my smoothie or in my cereal, my granola. But I, I, I do have some fat in my diet. I think it's necessary, especially if you're a woman, if you want the healthy hair and the hormonal panel to come out normal, you do need a little bit of fat. But she does mostly low fat diet. And what happens when you do a low fat vegan diet is that you have the energy to train, to live your life, to do whatever you want to do. You want to travel the world, you want to hike volcanoes, you can do that. You have the energy to do that. And anorexics don't. I've been around too many anorexics, I've been around too many bulimics, and they don't have the energy to train. You know why? Because they're not eating enough food. When you don't eat enough food, you don't have energy to do anything. If you are ever around an anorexic person, and I have an aunt who is anorexic, she is, I believe, I think she's 5'7 or 5'8, weighs 85 pounds, does not look okay. And you can tell just by the energy when you're in the room with her. She doesn't have a lot to say. She lives on black coffee and unsweetened tea. This is where she gets most of her calories from. She gravitates toward those things as most people who are on a really calorie restricted diet do because that's where she's getting her fake energy from. She's not getting any calories, but she's producing that stress hormone, that cortisol from the caffeine intake to get her through her day, which is really sad. And besides, that she doesn't really eat. Sometimes she'll munch on an apple here and there. And Caroline, we've seen her eat. As just as you guys have seen me, you see me make huge smoothies, nine banana smoothies, five banana smoothies with four mangoes in them. We eat, trust me. But I believe that the average YouTube viewer is probably on the heavier side. It's probably overweight because we live in a world where most people are overweight, if not obese, especially America. And when you compare somebody who's 115 pounds, even though I'm within a healthy BMI, you compare me to the average woman, the same height that weighs 40 pounds more than I do, because the average woman weighs 150 to 160 pounds, 40 pounds more on a woman my height looks a lot different. And when you're used to seeing somebody who is in that heavy range, and I'm not saying fat people are bad people, but I'm saying that we're used to seeing a certain body type. And when you see somebody who's a lean, mean, vegan fighting machine, you're just not used to it. You're like, she's dying. She's sick. She definitely doesn't eat enough. Caroline eats. I eat. That's the beauty about going low fat vegan. Low fat vegan is important if you're trying to strip fat and be really, really lean. Now, if you're one of those girls, because a lot of girls have told me you need to gain ass weight, you need to gain boob weight, you need to gain weight overall, you're too skinny, your face is too gaunt, your cheeks are sunken. And I'm like, I like my body. I love my body. I don't want to put any weight on. Like, I want to stay like this exactly. And I usually maintain my weight. I'm very, this is like my stable weight. If I wanted to gain like 10 pounds or lose 10 pounds, I probably have to do something drastic. This is just where my body wants to be. And Caroline's body, I feel like that's where her body wants to be. It's on the really thin side, very slim, but 
very energetic, very athletic body type, and that's awesome. So for those of you guys who, who are just shaming us, because really that's what it is, and personally, I don't give a fuck, but that's how I am. That's how I was raised to not care about what people think. But I do feel bad for her because I feel like people don't see both sides of the story. If I were to go on YouTube and make a video and call fat girls disgusting, you need to lose some weight, you need to get slim, get trim, get toned, go vegan, lose the fats, bro. If I were to make a video of that on fat girls, I would get a shit ton of hate. But for whatever reason, it's almost expected that when a girl is too thin, it's almost expected and it's accepted for a girl to be hated on about her body. So it's just these double standards that are going on in the world. So to me, it's if she likes her body type, and I am, I'm assuming that she loves her body because she takes care of it. You can tell because she exercises it, she eats clean, she gets her daily dose of sunshine. That's awesome, Caroline. I'm so happy for you. I'm actually really jealous because I'm in Chicago at the moment and it's cold as hell here. But for those girls who are just hating on Caroline, who are hating on me, maybe it's because you want to lose weight and my tip for you would be to eat at least 2,500 calories of vegan food, trust me, we don't starve ourselves. We are constantly eating just to keep the weight on. That's how awesome this lifestyle is. For dinner, I'm going to have a vegan pizza just for myself. So, ladies, find me on Nika Vegan, Nika Vegan A. I hope I answered your questions. No, I don't think Caroline is vegan or is um, anorexic. I think she's doing awesome, and I think she's inspiring a lot of girls around the world who want to be lean, mean, fighting vegan machines and look hot and have energy and... We're actually helping the world by doing what we do, so it's awesome. Go vegan, guys. Trust me. It's good for the fat loss. It's good for the boners. It's good for the planet. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care.